Woodland. It's Sarah again. I'm here with a fun science lesson today. I thought we could talk a little bit about land and water forms. This is one of my favorite lessons to give in class. And maybe if you're a student in Apple or Linden or Lilac, maybe you've already had a lesson in the land and water forms. I think you might still have fun watching today's um, video though. I'm going to do a couple things that are a little bit different. If you are a mom or a dad, you can check out the school's Google Drive and go to the cultural section and find the land and water form cards. I'll try to also post a link in the comments section here or the description of the video. Um, they're fun to cut out and your child can practice sorting them and matching them and maybe make their own cards. You don't have to print them out to do this work though because they're really easy to draw yourself. All you need is paper and pencil and maybe a brown marker and a blue marker. So let's get started. Here is a card. It has yellow for land. The land goes all the way around the outside of this card. In the center is some blue water. When you see a small piece of blue water like that, and it's totally surrounded by land, do you know what that's called? That's right, it's called a lake. This is a lake. Maybe somebody's gonna go fishing at the lake. Here's a card that looks a lot like the lake. Only this time, the blue water goes all the way around the outside. And in the center is a small piece of land. Does anybody know what it's called when there's a small piece of land surrounded by water? That's right, it's called an island. Here it's an island in the middle of water. Maybe it's in an ocean. Here's one. There are two large pieces of land on this card. One over here and one over here. The land is so close, it's almost touching, but it's not because the water is coming in between, right down the center there. When water comes in between two pieces of land like this, it's called a strait. This is the strait. Maybe a ship could sail down the strait. This looks a lot like the strait, doesn't it? Hmm. Only this time, the big pieces that are on the sides are water. Maybe there's two big oceans, like the Pacific Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean. The oceans are not quite touching, but almost. Instead, there's land. The land almost makes a bridge from one piece of land, one continent maybe, to the other. When you see a bridge of land connecting, you can call it an isthmus. That's kind of a funny word, isn't it? I'll say it again. Isthmus. It's fun to say new words. Here is another one that is pretty cool. Up here at the top I see land and down here on the bottom I see water. I can see that the yellow land comes out into the water. It kind of sticks out like a big point out into the water. When land sticks out into the water like this, it's called a peninsula. You can see that the water is on all, almost all the sides, three of the sides, but not all four like an island. This is a peninsula. This looks a lot like the peninsula, but a little bit different. Down here, you'll see some blue water, and up here is the land. It almost looks like the water has come inside the land. This is called a bay, a bay. 
there's land on three sides of the bay, but not all the way around it, not like a lake. I'm going to show you a fun way that you can make some of these shapes. If you have the cards printed out, you'll see that there's other things to learn about too, like a cape and an inlet and an archipelago, I think. I like to say that one too. I'm gonna tip this down so you can see my work. I hope everybody can see my tray right here. This is just a pan that I got from my kitchen. It's square, kind of like the cards. I'm gonna see if I can use some land to make a lake. You guys think I can do it? What do you think I should use for land? Hmm. I'll show you one thing I, I have. I have some rocks. I went out into my backyard and I looked all around and I asked Shannon and Owen to help me. They're really good at collecting rocks. So we filled up a basket and we brought them inside. I thought the rocks could be part of my land. I wonder if you guys have some rocks in your yard that you could collect and bring into your house. Maybe you have some materials left over from making bird houses, or not bird houses, what were they? Bug hotels with Kara. I'm gonna put my land all the way around the edges because I want it to look like the card. I want it to be in a lake. the camera. What do you guys think? I think it could use a little bit more land over here on this side just so we can really make a beautiful lake. Now I think it needs some water. I went to my kitchen and I filled up a pitcher with water. Can you guys see that? I also put some blue food coloring in there. I thought that might be fun. I'm gonna pour it in my lake. I did it. I made an island. Let's see, how do I get that? <gasps> it's not an island, I made a lake. But I am thinking an island would be fun. I wonder if I can move my rocks just a little bit. What if I move them to the center of my tray? Do you think they'll turn into an island? I think they might. I'm going to take some of them out because I think I don't need quite as much to make an iron as I did to make a lake. See if I can show you. Now there's blue water all around the edges. Maybe I'll put a little bit more in. Now it looks really blue. And in the center is my land. 
Does it look like the card? I made an island. I'd like to show you something else. Maybe you don't have rocks in your yard. Maybe you could make some Play-Doh. Maybe you have some Play-Doh already. Maybe some brown Play-Doh. Last night, Owen and I made this brown Play-Doh. It might look a little bit purple to you. It's hard to make brown. I didn't have any brown food coloring, so I had to mix red and green together. I think I'm gonna try to use the Play-Doh to make a straight. Let's see if I can do it. I need two big pieces of land on the edges of my pan. If you guys have really good ears, you might be able to hear Dexter. He's our doggy and he's eating his lunch in the other room. He's crunching up his food. It's pretty noisy when he eats. It's, it's good when if you're a human to keep your mouth closed while you're chewing your food so you can have really good manners. But he doesn't know about that. He doesn't know about manners. Okay, so I've got my land and I wanna make it so it's almost touching, but not quite. I want to make a path for my water to come down the center so that I can make a straight. Let's see if I can pour the water in. There it is. A little bit splashed up onto my land here, but that's okay. It will make it more fun to play with. Let's see if it looks like the card. It does. It's a straight. Do you think that you'd like to make some land and water forms at your house with rocks or Play-Doh? The great thing is, once you learn what all these land forms are called, you'll be able to learn about all of the islands and lakes and straits that are all around our earth. You can learn how special those places are because of the way that the land and water work together. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have fun this week. I'll see you next time.